I'm Christopher Smith for WeCanRewind.com, and this is Green Zone. Who are you? General, my name is Roy Miller. I'm a chief warrant officer with the U.S. Army. Why are you here, Mendo? I came here to bring you in. With director Paul Greengrass collaborating with his Born Supremacy and Born Ultimatum star Matt Damon, their latest thriller is set in the chaotic early days of the Iraq War. It's 2003 and we're in Baghdad, where no one can be trusted, and every decision could detonate into unforeseen consequences. Any sense is still coming up empty. No. I read your articles. You said a source named Magellan met with U.S. officials prior to the war. No, I'm not discussing sources. Have you ever even been to any of Magellan's sites? No. But there's nothing there. Chief, we're here to do a job. The reasons don't matter. They matter to me. People are dying out there. Damon is Chief Warren Officer Roy Miller, whose mission is to find weapons of mass destruction, but who instead stumbles upon an elaborate cover-up that inverts the purpose of his mission. Now Miller must hunt through covert and faulty intelligence hidden on foreign soil for answers that either will clear a rogue regime or escalate a war in an unstable region. All right, what do you want me to do? Follow Miller. Via satellite, Matt Damon agreed to speak about why he did the movie, and he offered this. Besides working with Paul Greengrass again, who's my friend and who I admire, uh, and whose movies I really like, um, the, the, the big thing for me in this movie was working with, we, we had a bunch of veterans who had just come back from Iraq and Afghanistan, and that was really who made up our cast. So there were a few actors, there was Greg Kinnear and Brendan Gleeson and, and Amy Ryan uh, and me, and you know, but and, and, and Khaled Abdullah, who's fantastic uh, in the movie. Um, but, you know, all of the scenes I'm in, I, I, we're surrounded by these real guys who, uh, who, who really did go and do this stuff and, uh, and, and who were invaluable for us in, in, in trying to create uh, an environment that felt authentic. Given the subject in Greengrass and Damon's previous successes, Green Zone should be a smart, sophisticated thriller filled with action. The movie opens this Friday, March 12th, where it's sure to draw fans of the action war genre and put the heat on the competition. I'm Christopher Smith for WeCanRewind.com, and that's your look at Green Zone. You're my prisoner. I'm bringing you in. Green Zone.